everyone. It is Tuesday today. Uh, this is uh, our family's COVID-19 update. Um, and I wanted to just talk a little bit about a couple of items that have been helpful to me um, going through this. So today is my 12th day of symptoms. And uh, I'm definitely feeling much better. I still have the a cough and uh, a little congestion, like a little gunk in my throat. But other than that, I'm doing pretty good. I'm get, I have more energy, uh, so I think I'm kind of coming out of the end of this, which is great. Stephen, even though he's uh, f at least a few days behind me, he's doing great. He has almost no symptoms, just some tiredness. My mother went today to get tested and to have her lungs checked. Um, and unfortunately, we couldn't drive her because she can't be in the car with us. So, uh, so she took her time and she walked, which is good that it's not that far. I mean, it was a bit of a schlep. It was not easy for her, but, um, so yeah, so she'll get her test results in a couple of days. Her lung function is fine. Um, you know, they did, they checked a bunch of things. Her oxygen level is fine. So, uh, so we're going to be waiting for that, uh, those results in the next couple of days. So, um, I, I got up this morning feeling pretty good. I'm not even wearing my hat, so I'm not as cold. You can see I'm a little warmer. I have my, because I tend to run warm. I have a tank top on, my sweatshirt behind me in case I need it. And I, I managed to scratch my face. Um, it's like a little band aid there. I don't even know how I did that. I, I just did it with something. Uh, and uh, yeah, so other than that, I, I even managed to put some eyebrows on. It looked terrible because. Um, my regular eyebrow kit, one of the cats hauled it off, and I don't know where it is right now, so hopefully it'll show up like it usually does. Um, it's, a, it's a nice brush buzz. I use my backup. <laughs> it doesn't work as well, but I thought, well, let me might make myself a little presentable here. Um, so, yeah, so I wanted to just share a couple of things I thought might be helpful um, to have on hand. So my friend Ethan suggested that I get this um, fingertip pulse oximeter. And uh, so I got this from Amazon. So this is a little uh, thing you clip on your fingertip. I'm sure you've had it done in the, the hospital or at the doctor. And it measures the amount of um, oxygen in your blood. So, it, so it, it measures the amount of oxygen actually in your hemoglobin, in your, uh, it's your arterial blood that it's looking at. And uh, so, so if you were to have some problems, your medical facility might give you one, but it's not a bad thing to have. I mean, they can be they can be pricey, but I got one on Amazon for like $25, and I thought it would be worth it to have it and just to set my mind at ease. So the way they work is that they, um, let's see if I can, I'm using a webcam, so it's kind of hard to, so I'm not going to be holding this in the right position, but the way it works is that you open it, you put your finger in and it goes in about halfway so it's kind of like this and then you push a button you, you know you turn it on and it goes like like yay so what happens is it'll give you a number um, and you can see my number is 96 95 and above is normal um, and so it'll also give you a pulse and uh, so it's actually very helpful and um, so anything you know, 95 is normal and above, so I've been reading 95, 96. Um, and then if you do a little research, it'll show you numbers that are, you know, that are not good. Uh, my, my doctor, or my backup doctor, told me that um, if it were to ever read 88, that's the point at which, you know, I would have to call or go into the emergency room. Um, and he also said that the, a really, the really good way to use it, um, if you can, you know, do it daily, is put it on your finger and walk around for six minutes, and then check your reading as you go. But if at any point it goes to 88, you failed. Um, but I kind of clip it on every once in a while. You're not to wear dark colored um, nail polish that will give you a false reading. You have to make sure the batteries are good in it. Um, there are some high-end ones that are, you know, supposed to be, like, excellent, but, you know, I mean, <laughs> not going to spend $200 on this thing. So, um, so it has been helpful. And uh, the other thing that, which probably most of you have by now, is a digital thermometer. 
these are great. Um, so if you've only ever used a regular thermometer, and I don't, does anyone use those anymore? Um, you just put this, you know, under your tongue, you know, you close your mouth and, and it'll beep a few times very quickly and give you a very, you know, an accurate reading. And um, technically you don't have a temperature unless it's 100, but of course, you know, talk to your own doctor about that. But that's, you know, that's what I've been told. It's like, a, like 100 and above is considered a temperature. Um, yeah, so these two things have been great, uh, have been a great help. And I think given that COVID is running rampant, I think it's worth it to have, you know, to have these things around, hanging around, uh, just in case you need them, because uh, they could be very helpful. Um, and, you know, they're not expensive. Uh, yeah, so other than that, I think we're, you know, we're all doing pretty good. We're just hoping my mom doesn't have COVID. And uh, it's been a very interesting holiday season. I mean, everything, like, also everything, like, food-wise has just got totally gone south. Um, we're German, and so we celebrate Christmas Eve, and we always have a certain, um, you know, certain kinds of things that we order from a place called Stigelmeyer. It's like different German sausages and things for, for that evening. And we kind of screwed up, and we didn't work, we didn't check their delivery, their, you know, their ship, their shipping deadline. And it's always, you know, around the 12th or the 13th of December. Well, of course, because of the COVID and all the craziness, um, it was a week early and we missed it. So that means we, we aren't getting the stuff that we really wanted, especially me, because the things that I like, like head cheese and, and uh, things in aspect and things like that, you know, this is the only company in the United States that makes certain German things that I grew up with. Um, and they're, you know, easier to get in Germany, but here. So, so I called them and I said, couldn't you please hook us up? And they said, no, we're sorry. Our people are working, you know, day and night just to fill the orders we have. So, um, okay, so I found another place in New Jersey called Fabco. I've never, I'd never ordered from them before. They had a few things that look interesting, especially for Steve and my mom. I mean, they're very fond of liverwurst and things like that. And they even had blood, blood and tongue. In German, it's, you know, blood force. Zungenwurst means tongue sausage, um, and they had some a little bit of head cheese, and they but they didn't have this. You know, it's like didn't have exactly the things that we wanted, but you know they had a few decent things. So I ordered that, and now one hundred and thirty six dollars later, didn't that get stuck in New Jersey uh, because of the big snowstorm? So that's been on route eight days. I have no idea what that's going to look like. There's also a herring in there, herring and oil, which is another thing that's hard to come by. Herring from Eastern Europe. Um, the only herring, uh, matches herring, that you can, you can buy, if you can find it, often is in a dill sauce, and it's a little sweet, and we don't eat, Germans don't eat a lot of dill with their herring, so um, we want it just plain. So I did find that, but it's like I have a feeling this box is going to come today, so I'm going to have to throw everything out, which will be terrible. So we're thinking about like how lame Christmas Eve is going to be, though, you know, we're alive and we're doing well. So, you know, all things being equal, you know, it's just one of these things where, you know, what else could possibly go wrong? Um, so, yeah, so hopefully your holiday food plans are going a little bit better. We are very lucky in that friends of ours, Ethan and John, are going to drop off Christmas dinner for us, which is wonderful because no way we could have done any cooking. So, uh, so we'll, we'll have a nice uh, Christmas Day dinner. Um, so, yeah, anyway, sorry to go on and on, but I just wanted to touch base with you, and I hope uh, you all have a wonderful holiday. Uh, I'll give you another update in the next couple of days, but please hang in there, and again, please stay safe, and uh, think about picking, yeah, picking up a uh, pulse oximeter, and definitely make sure you have a, a working digital thermometer. Even if you have one, check, check to make sure that the batteries are still good because uh, you just don't want to be screwing around with that um, in an emergency. So, okay, everyone, you take care.